I'm Liz Slacksmith. Um, I own and operate the Canamble Post Office. I've worked for Australia Post in various capacities since 1973. Hey Bianca, how are you going? Yes, how are you? Very good, thanks. What can I do for you? Can I please get a parcel, a satchel to post parcel, please? Yeah, that's no worries. Les Slacksmith has seen a lot of things in his lifetime, but the past two years of drought has taken a significant toll on his small town of Canamble in northwestern New South Wales. Uh, things are pretty tough at the moment with the drought, and um, and for retailers it's um, pretty grim with the online shopping and um, uh, and declining um, foot traffic in the, through the shops. <laughs> <laughs> but in spite of the hardship, this is the busiest his post office has been in years, thanks to a social media campaign encouraging people to buy from the bush. Well, it's great to see them. I mean, we see them every day anyway, but to see them come in with armfuls of goodies to pass, that uh, makes it even more pleasurable. We're struggling to make a profit, um, so what they're doing helps us a lot. I live on farm, my husband's a farmer, and I've kind of watched him suffering through this drought. But more importantly, our kind of broader community um, having a bit of a tough time of it, and I just wanted to do something. Go! Hi! Mwah. How are you? Good? It's easy to feel helpless at a time like this, so wanting to do something that actually um, had an impact and didn't know whether this would, but thought it was worth a try. So. It was just about um, trying to keep the doors open in, on, you know, in retailers in small country towns. Grace Brennan was sitting at her kitchen bench listening to an interview about the drought when she had an idea. Let me guess what you can go. I just felt this kind of rush of energy and I, I penned a letter because I thought they were kind of missing something critical and I decided to just create a page. So it's an Instagram and Facebook page at Buy From The Bush and it's basically just a showcase of all the beautiful things you can buy from um, rural communities facing drought at the moment. When people ask me what it's like, I, I think it's indescribable um, and also it's unrelatable for so many in the, in the city. Um, we've seen the images of emaciated sheep and, um, and you, know, you know, those kind of rough hands of farmers and, and looking to the sky for the weather and that kind of thing and they've almost become cliches and I just think that this is I mean everybody can relate to somebody working hard to um, you know provide for their family and you know trying to survive. She was not prepared for the response. I mean I'm loving it it's incredible and um, and it overwhelming. I've definitely heard from a shop owner who said I was about to close my doors and then you featured something and um, and now I don't need to. And you know what it's done is also encourage locals to come into her shop again for the first time, um, or first time in a while. I think it's kind of created a bit of a buzz. I'm Lucy Moss, and I own the gift boutique Mink and Me in Canamble. This simple campaign has transformed Lucy Moss's business. Buy From The Bush has been an absolute game changer for both myself and the business and the community as a whole. From pretty humble beginnings, um, we have a website that would probably send out on average 10 to 15 parcels um, a week. At last count, in the last six weeks, we've sent out over 850. I normally run the business by myself and I've had to employ extra staff. So at the most, uh, we've had five people here every day. Thanks, just that one? Yes, please. Sure. The drought doesn't just affect farmers. Uh, it definitely affects small business because if there's less um, income to be spent, it flows on through the whole community. Christmas is always such a, it's like our harvest. And considering there was no harvest this year, Thank this you. is this have a great fantastic. Day. See you, bye. Two hours drive south of Canamble, the inland city of Dubbo is also feeling the drought. I'm just into Haycock. I've lived here just out of Dubbo on this property for 26 years. Art, I've been probably painting all my life. The buy from the bush movement has been so successful for Jacinta, she's struggling to keep up with demand. Everything you see in here is sold. I don't have anything that's not sold. I have um, commissions booked up 
for these cow paintings. At least 10 of those is all I've taken. Booked up if I'd like to be to June next year with commissions without even free painting. So it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to just tell people, just get back to me in January. <laughs> and they're so good, they understand. The mum of 11 says she and countless other families and businesses are indebted to Grace Brennan. Grace doesn't know how much I love her. She doesn't know me and I don't know her. And, that, and I know I'd be one of hundreds of people feeling this way about this girl. I'm not a businesswoman at all. And that's where I love Grace. Grace took that right out of my hands and put me out there, whereas I never would have done anything like that. I was just in the safety little net of this area. I hope that this project goes way beyond just a Christmas shopping spree. It's, um, I'm hoping it's a change of mindset. There's lots of exciting things we have in the works, hopefully. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.